My cat, she pleaded, and my cat, she cried for me to open up the door and let her go outside. Then she sat on the lawn underneath a tree, pretending that she couldn't hear me as I said, Cat, you better come on home. I said, Cat, you better come on home. There's dogs in the dark waiting to attack and cat hawks looking for a late night snack. So, Cat, you better come on home. My cat, she turned and she tossed her head. I may or may not come, she said. I'm a cat who's deeply dissatisfied. I'll let you know when I decide. I said, cat, you better come on home. I said, cat, you better come on home. I'll close this door and I'll lock this bolt. You can spend the night in the snow and the cold. So, cat, you better come on home. She said, I'd rather be a cat that meets a terrible fate than live with a man who don't appreciate that a cat is independent and a true highbrow demands a little high-class chow. I've seen the food that you feed your guests, the turkey and the tuna and the chicken breast. Do you share it with your cat? No, you don't, no way. Not the poached perch liver pate. And I said, cat, shagging on in here, I said. I said, cat, you better come on home. I'm not about to stand here and argue with a cat now. What would the next door neighbors think of that? So, cat, you better come on home. Well, I never, she said, and she turned in a huff. You've seen the last of your old cat puff. She left with a huh, a sardonic laugh. She left for a year and a half. I felt so bad, full of guilt and shame. I walked around town just calling her name with a great big plate of Chateau Briand and some tuna fish in my hand. And I said, please come home. Please come home. Come on, old Puff, come home with us. I got a lot of fringe benefits I'd like to discuss. So, cat, oh, please come home. I saw her six months later in a cat magazine. She was a number one TV cat food queen with a fat contract with a cat food firm. Her hair was done up in a perm. You could tell it was Puff, though this cat was wrapped in a white mink stole and her teeth were capped. She was lying on a beach in the town of Greece. She changed her name to Clarice. I said, Cat, you better come home now, baby. I said, Cat, about time that you came home. You're a top cat now and you're riding high, but the dump you in the river when the well runs dry. So, Cat, woo-hoo, better come home. Sure enough, she came back one day last fall. She was on her last leg. She could barely crawl with a great big tail dragging on the ground because she weighed about 89 pounds. She looked like something that the cat dragged in with her tongue hanging out on her double chin. Great big bags underneath her eyes. She said, it's me, surprise. Oh, cat, so glad, so glad, so glad you came home. Woo-hoo, cat, so glad that you came home. No need to explain, my old cat friend. I'm just glad to have you back again. So, cat, mm, so glad you came home. I picked her up like a big first sack. She said, easy, Jack. I got a salmon on the back. I got a big salmon habit. That's no lie. I got a go cold turkey on the tuna fish pie. Mm, mm. If other cats could only know to hang their hats on the status quo. Because the very worst thing that a cat can do is to make all its dreams come true. So, cats... We better go home, oh cats, time to go home. Dogs in the dark waiting to attack and cat hawks looking for a late night snack. So cats, it's time to go home. You can seek your fortune, but nevertheless, remember your name and your address. And cats, oh you. Beautiful Chicago cats, I believe it's time, I hate to be the one to say it, but it's true, I'm afraid it's time to go.